Hey guys, so I have to record this in the car really really quick because I'm working on very limited time before I have to pick the kids up from school I'm gonna show you guys everything I got Ellie for Christmas and everything I got Lyle for Christmas And before I get started, I want you guys to know that nothing in this video is sponsored I wasn't paid to show you any of these products or given any free products or anything like this is legit What I bought my kids for Christmas some of the stuff they asked for and they really wanted and it was on their Christmas list and some of the stuff I thought they would like and I just bought it for them because I thought they would like it and you're gonna notice that there is a big difference in Lyle's pile and Ellie's pile of Christmas gifts that is because Ellie's Christmas gifts are pretty cheap compared to the things that Lyle wanted this year so it is gonna look like I got her a ton of stuff and I didn't get him very much but in reality his stuff costs a lot more than hers like if you look at the total amounts of how much I spend on each kid I definitely spent more on Lyle uh, a significant amount more so I wanted to clear that up real quick I don't want people coming on here and saying like I'm spoiling the crap out of Ellie and I'm not getting enough stuff for Lyle like that's totally not how it is It's all about the budget for me and I went over budget for Lyle. I stayed exactly on budget for Ellie so That's just kind of how it worked out and it's gonna look like I didn't get him very much so be prepared But anyways, let's get started <laughs> So the first present I got for Ellie is the Barbie dream house. Guys, this is seriously all Ellie can talk about. It is the only thing that she actually asked Santa for, and I just had to get it for her. At first, I really did not want to get this present for her because I really don't like big bulky toys that take up a ton of room. But how can you say no? I mean, look at this thing. It comes with a water slide, a pool. It seriously has everything cool you could ever think of and it's also 360 play so you can play with the front of the dollhouse and the back of the dollhouse which i think is really cool because all growing up obviously all of our dollhouses were only front play so this she's gonna get so much play out of and honestly i can't wait to play with it too next we have a pink razor scooter i got this for ellie because all the kids in our neighborhood have razor scooters and they always take them to the park so i really thought it would be a good idea for Ellie to be able to have one too and to join in and all the fun that the kids in our neighborhood have. And next we have Frozen 2 dolls. I swear Ellie is probably going to be the most excited about this. Maybe the Barbie the Dream House but probably this because she is obsessed with Frozen 2 and she loves the younger versions of Elsa and Anna and she loves like role playing with mom and dad and kids so this is totally going to be something that she is absolutely just obsessed with and next i have this random barbie that i found she was only five dollars ellie doesn't have very many redhead barbies so i thought it was a good idea to get this one for her even though she really doesn't need any more barbies Ooh, and next i got her this peppa pig little parade set and i just love it every time we would go to the store she was always begging me and begging me for this toy and it's seriously one of the last things that ellie likes that is actually like something i would consider a toddler type toy so i had to go get it for her because i know the time of her liking things like peppa pig is coming to an end so i just had to get this for her and i think she will love it and the next gift i got is because ellie has become so obsessed with drawing and coloring ever since she started school she just loves to color she loves to draw pictures i mean she just loves it but she can make a mess sometimes so that is why i was really excited when i found this mess free kit that way we don't have a giant mess of marker all over our kitchen table anymore so i really really like this for her for christmas and the next thing I have, I know can be a total sin to some moms. I used to be the mom who absolutely hated Play-Doh and never let my daughter have it. But then I realized how happy it actually makes her to play with Play-Doh and just how creative she gets with it. And I really decided that I had to start buying her Play-Doh and now it's one of her favorite things to do. This one is a giant baking set and I know she's just going to freak out when she sees this gift because she's so into Play-Doh right now and she would just... Oh my gosh, she's in a freak. And I also got her this hair cutter Play-Doh because she sees it all the time on YouTube videos and she has been asking for it forever. And I finally, finally found it at a store and I can't wait to see her open this as well. Next, I got her a Polly Pocket set. Ellie actually really likes the little tiny Polly Pocket sets, the ones that 
are not like the ones we used to have. Like these ones are the ones that we used to have. But she really likes the little ones and I hate them because she always loses all the pieces to them in like the first day. So I got her the OG original type of Polly Pocket and oh my gosh guys, nostalgia. Do you guys remember chewing on these dresses and these purses and all these things? Because I do and I'm sure Ellie probably will too. Oh my gosh, I actually got these dolls for Ellie before Frozen 2 even came out. I went to Target and they had a huge selection of Frozen 2 toys and I was like, oh my freaking god, I have to have these giant Elsa and Anna stuffed animals because my kids just love plushies on their bed and I just thought these were going to be so perfect as a Christmas gift and I really hoped they would go on sale over Black Friday, but they never did. So I ended up just keeping them and yeah, I had to pay full price for them guys, but oh my god, look how big they are. They're so amazing. I love these things. I can't wait for her to open these because she is going to seriously just freak out. And the last present for Ellie is this cute little floor puzzle. I don't know why the corner of it is messed up, but oh well. I thought this was a really good thing to start educating Ellie on the United States and all the different states. And I just felt like it was a really good idea to get her something that is educational versus just only getting her a whole bunch of toys. So I'm really excited that I found this for her. So next I'm going to show you guys Lyle's present. <laughs> I was not joking when I said he does not have a huge pile of presents like Ellie. This is the most expensive present that Lyle wanted for Christmas this year and I absolutely had to get it for him because he has been such a good kid this year. He has been excellent with the move, he's been excellent with switching schools, and I really felt like I had to get this present for him. This is a VR headset. He has been dying to get his hands on one of these things so he is going to be super excited when he opens his present on Christmas because he wasn't really sure if I was actually going to get it for him but you know mama came through and I did get it for him and the next present is actually something that he had before but he didn't have the Fitbit brand he had an off-brand kind of Fitbit and it broke so he was really upset about that and I saw this one they finally made one for kids and we actually really like to work out together and we like to do steps together and I think it's really important to make sure your child is being active and being healthy so I thought this was a good thing to get for him so that he can start getting back into the gym with me and doing challenges and all those types of fun things. Next I have this super cute pair of dinosaur pajamas. I just had to show you guys them. They're so cute. Look at these. I love them and it's so cute to see your big kid in footy pajamas. I can't wait to see him wear these. And actually Lyle asked for a bunch of pajamas for Christmas. I know I only got him three pairs, but I thought three was good for now because he is growing so much. I literally just had to buy him all new pants. So I only got him a few pairs just in case he's about to hit yet another growth spurt. Next, I got him this little laser tag game. Lyle unfortunately does not really play with toys anymore. So it is really hard to find gifts for him nowadays, but I thought this was something cool that like him and a friend might wanna play with when they come over or Lyle and Ellie can both play with it together. I don't know, I just thought it was something he might actually play with. I said with Ellie, I also got Lyle something that I thought was really educational. He recently started getting really into Harry Potter. He's only read the first book of the series, but look at this package. It is seriously all the books of the entire series. I found this on Amazon for like $40, and I'm really, really excited to give this to him. We actually are going to offer an incentive, and we're going to say, if you can read all of the books, and you can take quizzes on all of the books, and you can pass everything, then we're going to offer him um, money that can go towards going to Universal in Orlando and visiting Harry Potter World, because we're planning a trip to Orlando sometime this next year. So I thought that was a really, really good idea to get him reading and get him taking tests and all that. Next, I also got Lyle a Razor scooter because he also wants to ride around with all the kids in our neighborhood and go to the skate park. And I figured he would be really good at showing Ellie how to ride one of these things. But I got his in camo instead of pink because obviously he wasn't going to go for a pink Razor scooter. But this one was actually really hard to find, so I'm really happy that I actually snagged this. There's actually one more present that I got for Lyle, but I did not bring it to the house because it is super freaking heavy. I literally could not even lift it off the porch when it got delivered to our house and I went into total panic mode. This is a basketball hoop and I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but Lyle is super into basketball. He loves taking basketball lessons. He loves joining the leagues. 
So I thought this was something really good to get him to get him active and to get him playing outside or over the summer and just give him something to do besides sit in the house and play video games. So I'm really, really excited for him to see this. I think he's going to be super, super stoked. But yeah, guys, that is it. That is all the stuff I got the kids for Christmas. I tried to be really practical this year and not go overboard. Um, leave a comment below. What do you guys think? I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.